Did you know that using national brand cleaners as little as once per week is as damaging to your lung capacity as smoking a pack of cigarettes every day for 20 years? That was just one of the several findings from a 20 year study that was published in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. And truthfully, that's just the beginning. If you have young children in your home or if you have loved ones with a compromised immune system, this video is for you. Stay tuned. Your best life. I'm your host and healthy living correspondent, Beth Shamp. Pretty much, we all grew up with traditional store-bought cleaning products with advertising slogans like, if it's got to be clean, it's got to be tied. This, the April fresh smell of downy. For a kitchen so clean, it shines. But all the advertising and all that slick marketing, it doesn't change or hide the fact that those products are filled with cheap, harmful, and sometimes deadly chemical ingredients. Now, there are countless studies with the EPA, the Center for Disease Control, the NIH, that prove the connection between harmful ingredients in everyday household cleaning products and asthma, ADHD, cancer, autism, COPD, and more. And it's not just cleaning products, it's personal care products as well. Here in the U.S., Johnson & Johnson's No More Tears that we used on our babies had the carcinogen formaldehyde and 1.4 dioxane in it, while the European version did not. You see, European standards are so much higher than here in the U.S. Why did Johnson & Johnson finally change their decades old formula in 2014? Only because consumers demanded it. That same carcinogen, 1.4 dioxane is also found in most laundry detergents. In fact, a study conducted by a chemical testing lab called Bureau Veritas in the spring of 2022 detected that carcinogen nearly in nearly all laundry detergents it tested. And that ranged from conventional brands like Tide and All to plant-based brands like Mrs. Meyers. And as of the date of this filming, Tide, Arm, Arm & Hammer, and Gain have all been banned from Europe based on their ingredients, and some states have started to ban those brands as well. Hi, sorry for interrupting the show. I just wanted to take a moment to let you know about one of my passions other than hosting this show. I belong to an exclusive wellness shopping club, and I have done so for over 20 years. I trust them with my family's health and my health. This club provides US made products that are safe, affordable, focusing on your health and household and beauty things that we use every single day. Anyway, I'll let you get back to the show, but if you have any questions about joining, you want any information at all, I provided info below. According to the law, companies are not required to publish their ingredients on the labels of their cleaning products. And I get it. If you're a company and you have something amazing, you want to protect your proprietary formula, right? But here's the deal. All those cute little green companies that came out over the last two decades, Mrs. Myers, Seventh Generation, Method, Burt's Bees, Toms of Maine, Native, they've all been bought out, every one of them, by big corporate giants who have the right to change the ingredients and not tell you, and that's happened. In fact, there have been class action lawsuits against some of those corporate giants because they changed the ingredients, which was their right to do, but those, those changes resulted in taking a green safe product to a product that was no longer green and they continued to market it as such. And class action lawsuits were a result of that. So what's a concerned consumer to do? I'll tell you what I wouldn't do. I would never follow organizations like EWG. They're a nonprofit that uses scare tactics to influence consumers. They're highly political and they're motivated by those who fund them. They don't back their claims up with scientific data. All you have to do is Google what's wrong with EWG and you will get a plethora of reports on why you cannot believe all that they publish. But here's what you should do. Instead, do your own due diligence. Look for companies that will publish the harmful ingredients that they refuse to use. Those companies are out there and I can help you find them. In fact, 
If you want to know what my favorite products are, click on the link in the text below. I look for products specifically that advertise that they will never use formaldehyde, ammonia, chlorine, bleach, phosphates, quaternary disinfectants, phthalates, parabens, and abrasives. Why do I choose those particular ingredients? Because I make my decision on proven scientific fact, not folklore, not public opinion. And those ingredients have been tested multiple times to prove they can be deadly to our loved ones. So the moral of the story is do your due diligence. I encourage you to ditch the toxic and the caustic chemicals in your home. And while you're doing that, make your shopping decisions on proof, not folklore. Thank you once again for watching. Now don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and why not share this video with a friend or loved one who can benefit from this information. And if you haven't done so already, please check out our Facebook group page, Your Best Life, a wellness group. It's filled with daily educational posts on how to live your best life. And as always, you can email me directly at yourbestlife, the number nine, at gmail.com. If you have any questions about this episode or any of the products that I use to maintain a healthy lifestyle, I'm glad to share them. Until next time, be happy and be healthy.